Welcome back to channel for another video match day on Easter Monday. Obviously, yep. we all know what happened on Good Friday last, uh, on Friday, sorry, against Colchester. We got beat 2 1. You know, it's not the result that obviously we wanted away at Colchester because that was a game that we pinpointed three points and then pinpointed another three points here today. Um, you know, in terms of the playoffs, five points off. <sighs> Look, if it happens, it happens, but I think I'm resigned to the fact that it probably won't a win here maybe keeps the hopes alive a, a draw or defeat even if results go our way i think a draw or defeat in this one probably signals any playoff push out but in terms of a prediction i'm i do fancy we're going to win but like i said a win might not be enough to close the gap on the playoffs if teams around us do win obviously if we win we take points off crawley and and obviously gain three points ourselves so in that aspect it is positive i'm <laughs> Gonna go with 2 1. I think it'll be a close game. I think both teams will feel the nerves of what is gonna be a nervy game because it's massive for both sets of teams. Um, and I do think there's some, you know, really good players on display in this game, which I think can cause um, problems for either team. In terms of a prediction, like I said, I'm gonna go 2 1. If you enjoy the vlog, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, up the county. Yeah. Easter Monday. Hope you had your Easter eggs. Uh, Fucking love chocolate, me. You've put Crawley, what are we thinking? Well, it's a game that's always close, isn't it? But I'll say that. Apart they, from when they batted us 4 1 yeah, at their they, place. They beat us 4 1, but I remember that was a long time ago now, so we could just forget about that. But it'd be nice to have some nice quality football. Nice day, pitch would be a bit wet, but that's just normal in Newport. But it'd be nice to get a win. Score prediction? I really don't know. It's one of them where, well, I say it every week, but obviously going to a game, you'd like to see goals. You see big games yesterday, Arsenal City, you'd expect there to be goals. Both teams here pushing for the playoffs in different ways. You'd like there to be goals, but I'm just going to go 1-0 County. Goal scorer? I'm going to say Bogle off the bench. Up the county. Up the county. Lineups, what are we saying, Luke? Nick Townsend, Matt Baker, Scott Bennett. Uh, Carl Jameson, Matty Bondswell, uh, Bryn Morris, Aaron Wilder, Carrie Sharsley, Seb Power Holden, Will Evans, and Ofrande Zanzala. And on the bench? Johnny Maxted, Lewis Payne, uh, Harrison Bright, James Way, Omar Bogle, Keepham Roy, and uh, Luke Jeffcott. Interesting. Back four, I believe, 4 3 3. Zanzala, Palmer Holden, Evans as a three. Charsley, Morris Wildig as a, the midfield. And I don't know who's playing right back out of Baker, Bennett, Jameson, or, or well, Bonswell will be on the left. You'd imagine it'd be Baker, uh, Baker at right back with Bennett and uh, Jameson at centre back. But like I said, it'll be interesting to see what happens during the game. Bogle back on the bench is so positive as well. Let's get three points up the okay. count. Rodney Parade, come on the port. That is fucking dreadful. Nil. That is fucking good. Crawley won. Dion Conroy with a goal. Former Swindon player. Totally switch off within the first minute. The away side leads. The away fans actually quite loud to be fair, but Newport Nil Crawley won. Already a big ass. Newport 0 
Port Vale, Crawley 2, Roran Darcy. Two ex Swindon players put Crawley to another front. Dion Conroy with the first, Ronan Darcy with the second. 2 0 down, seven points off the playoffs. That's gone now, but long way to go in this one as well. Let's go. See another goal. Time Newport nil, Crawley two. Two former Swindon players get the goals for them. Luke, thoughts? It's shit, innit? Like I had, like I said earlier, it could go one or two ways, and I had that feeling we were going to lose four 0 and I, I think that's probably going to happen now. It's just a bit shit. So what's your full-time prediction? 4-0. 4-0 Swindon, 4-0 Crawley. Just, they got two I, Swindon players scored for them. I fucking need said Swindon, but 2-0 no, Crawley, 4-0 no, Crawley, you think? Yeah, like, I, just, I just can't I just can't see a score. And Any changes you make at half-time? Or, like, in the second half? Can I sub the whole fucking team, please? Nah, I would take off Evans, Lux Macken, Palmer Holden, Charles Lee. They just... I'm not saying they look like they can't be bothered, but they just this just a lack of energy and you know after, after the games our manager is saying that we're not competing and it's literally showing right here. Yeah. It's it's, it's just a one team on the pitch. It's, unfortunately, it's not us. Yeah, I agree. Like, I, I will definitely agree. It's not. We're not competitive. Fifty fifties. We're losing. You know, balls in the air. We're losing all their jaws. We're pretty much losing every single one, but. You've got to hope they can come out firing in the second half. I doubt it, but you've got to hope that. You've got to keep that hope in you. It's the hope, hope that kills you, but I reckon somehow 3-2. I don't know how, but I reckon 3-2 full-time up the game. Fucking Maguire. Fucking Mark, you dig that! Newport now, Crawley three. Lawrence Maguire, Harry's brother. Oh, it's bad to worse. I know, I know. I'm not a genius for saying it, but playoffs is gone now. You know. Fucking awful. Forget the playoffs. Newport now, Crawley three. Bit flying. They're actually a really good team as well, but it does hurt. Really, really hurt. Awful, absolutely dreadful. Newport nil, Crawley four. Adam, Adam Campbell four nil, Crawley. Jeez, the away fans love it. They've given everything to be fair, Corey. Better team has won this game by an absolute country mile. Demolished at home. Game, Newport nil. Crawley four. I mean, like, that is all that was. An absolute shit show. An absolute embarrassment, you know. Like, as much as Crawley are a good team, I'm not going to stand here and say Crawley are a bad team. And I don't know how we've been battered 4-0. They're a well-oiled team under a good coaching system with some incredible players for this league. Danny Orsi, Rona Darcy, the goalkeeper Corey Day. You know, they they are a good side and we can't walk away from it sort of looking at, our, looking at them as the reason why we got battered. Yes, they're a good side, but, you know, if we're a team so ambitious to push on for the playoffs, then you've got to go to a team that are, you know, currently, you know, fight it. Well, it's not even a waste. It's not like, you know, we've gone to Crawley and, and capitulated. We've done it at home. You know, like, their fans are, are laying every pass. It's, like, I don't think many of the players actually deserved or deserve any sort of plaudits. Like, a lot of them were just embarrassing. It was slow. We go 1-0 down inside the first minute. 
and then we capitulate. We've done that at Gillingham. As soon as they equalise, we cap- uh, not Gillingham, Colchester. As soon as they equalise, we capitulate. They score a second and they win the game. You know, every time a team scores against us, whether it be equalising or take the lead, we just absolutely capitulate. The players on the pitch today, none of them fought for each other, for the badge, for themselves. It was literally just let's let's just do what we want, pretty much. And like, not not a single one of those players deserve any sort of credit. Like I said, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Match day vlog, but embarrassing devastating horrific